What's up everyone? My name is Joe. I'm from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be doing a five-way mattress showdown. We've got Amazon Basics, Tufted Needle, Zinus, Linen Spa, and Lucid. I'm going to be telling you everything you know about these mattresses, run a construction breakdown, run them through a number of tests, and ultimately tell you which one of these five you might want to get, so stay tuned. All right, why are we doing these five mattress brands? Well, they're very, very popular mattresses. And they're very popular on Amazon. If you go on Amazon, search for mattresses, you're gonna come across at least one multiple of these brands. So very popular as well. They have a lot of construction similarities as well. A pretty affordable price point. I think Tuft Needle is the most expensive, generally at about under $600 for a queen. So very, very affordable mattress as well. A lot of similarities. So let's jump into the construction and break those down of each mattresses. Let's break down the construction of all five mattresses and see what the main differences are. Starting with the Amazon Basics, I reviewed the 12 inch version. They do have a 10 inch version and eight inch version available as well, but I reviewed the 12 inch version. So it's basically memory foam over a transition layer over a base layer that's kind of split into two. Moving on to the Tuft and Needle now, there's just one version, it's 10 inches in total. It has basically a very simplified construction where it's a base layer of seven inches and then three inches of what they call an adaptive foam. That's a proprietary foam that kind of mixes in memory foam and latex light qualities. Uh, moving on to the Zinus now, they have a bunch of different options available. I reviewed the 12 inch gel memory foam mattress. So pretty similar to that Amazon Basics 12 inch mattress. It's memory foam over a transition layer over a base layer that's split into two as well. Moving on to the Lucid now, they have a bunch of different options available. I reviewed the 10 inch uh, memory foam hybrid. So basically two layers of memory foam over a transition layer over pocketed coils. Moving on to the Linen Spa now, there are a bunch of different options available there as well. I reviewed the eight inch memory foam hybrid mattress, which is basically very simple construction, eight inches and an inch and a half of memory foam over six and a half inches of pocketing coils. So what does all that mean? What are the main differences? Well, there are two hybrids that I reviewed, the Linen Spa and the Lucid. Zinus also has hybrids available, so that's something to you note. If you want a little bit more support, maybe you're a little bit heavier, I'd maybe consider a hybrid. The Amazon Base 6 and Zinus that I reviewed were memory foam mattresses, and the Tuff & Needle is kind of on its own. It uses this adaptive foam, so it kind of mixes in memory foam and latex light qualities. It's more of a premium foam, that's why you get a little bit higher of a price tag. So that's just kind of something to note as well. There's also thickness options, so like the Amazon Base 6, for example, you can get an 8, a 10 or a 12 inch, same with Zinus, same with Linen Spa, and same with Lucid. So if you want something a little bit thicker, a little bit more supportive, you can do that. Or if you sleep on your side and want a thicker comfort part of the mattress, you can do that. So you definitely have options here as well. All right, now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as the Amazon Basics is concerned with firmness, I put it at about a six, so just a little bit softer than average. Tuft and Needle, a 6.5, right in that kind of medium firmness range. The uh, Zinus was about a six as well, a little bit softer than average. The Lucid was a six and a half, kind of re right in that middle of that firmness range as well. And the Linen Spa was the most uh, firm, so it was about a seven and a half, definitely a little bit firmer than average. All right, now I'm gonna talk about sleeping positions and which mattresses are most appropriate for which sleeping positions. So starting on the Amazon Basics, I found it to be a best match for side sleeping, pretty good pressure relief there, uh, a little bit softer than average, so good for side sleeping, and a pretty decent match for back sleeping. However, I thought it was a little bit too soft and probably want something a little bit more supportive if you sleep on your stomach. Moving to the Tuft & Needle, uh, pretty similar there, pretty good match on my side and also a good match on my back, probably be a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive if you sleep on your stomach. Moving on to the Zinus now, very good match on the side, very good pressure relief overall, a little bit softer than average, it's pretty good on my back as well, kind of conforms well to the curves of my body, pretty supportive overall. Also want something a little bit firmer if you sleep on your stomach as well, a little bit more supportive. Lucid as well, good match on the side and back. I also would want something a little bit firmer if you sleep on your stomach. And moving on to the Linen Spa, this is the one that's different. It was about a seven and a half out of 10. So very good match for stomach sleeping. I would say not the best match for side sleeping and back sleeping as well. In mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing because it shows you exactly how well every mattress leaves pressure. I get down on the pressure map, lie down on my back, side, and stomach, and you see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red high pressure. So out of these five mattresses, actually the Lucid and the Amazon Basics relieve pressure the best according to this pressure map test. So you're gonna see a little bit more kind of yellow, orange, red in the other three mattresses, and that's really not the case with these two. So I think it's because uh, the Amazon Basics is a little bit softer than average, has memory foam. The Lucid has a very nice pressure relieving memory foam on top. So it just seems to do a very good job at relieving pressure over all those two mattresses. 
Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, but I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person than Joe, and I give my experience with these mattresses. So Joe's brought up five mattresses today, and out of those five, I think two are definitely a good fit for a larger person like myself. Now, larger people, when they're looking for a mattress, definitely want to find something that is both comfortable and supportive enough for their weight. But again, out of these five, two definitely stand out. And first we have the Lucid, and the Lucid does contain coils in its construction, so because of that, I'm getting enough support when I'm on my back. Also some good contouring from the top layers, a little bit of support in my lumbar area. Very, very nice for back sleeping. And also moving to my side, a decent amount of pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. And also moving over to the Tuft & Needle, also a good match for me, especially when I'm on my side. I sink into the mattress, feel pretty much almost no pressure on my shoulders and my hips. A good match for me as a side sleeper. So again, if you're a larger person, think about either the Lucid or the Tuft & Needle. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're gonna to wanna to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or possibly transfer over to you and wake you up at night? Edge support is basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off? Now, as far as motion transfer is concerned, I would say the two best are Zinus and Amazon Basics. They just have a good chunk of memory foam on top that seems to do a very good job at isolating motion overall. As far as edge support is concerned, I'd probably give the advantage to the two hybrids I reviewed, the Lucid and the Linen Spa. I think having those pocketed coils in there kind of prevent that rolling off the bed feeling overall. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, who are these mattresses good for and which one's gonna be right for you? All right, as far as who should get the Amazon Basics, I think if you're a back sleeper, it's gonna be a good fit. I think if you're a side sleeper, it's gonna be a great fit as well. I think it's gonna be a bad fit if you're a stomach sleeper. It's probably not the best fit for heavy people. It is a good fit for couples, however, because it does just such a very good job at isolating motion overall. All right, as far as Tuft & Needle is concerned, I think if you are a back sleeper, you're gonna find it to be a good fit, so good fit there. I think you'll like it if you're a side sleeper as well, pretty good pressure relief overall. I think if you're a stomach sleeper, it's not the best fit. You probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. I don't think it's the best fit for heavier sleepers. I think you probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive overall, probably something with pocketed coils as well. And then lastly, if you're a couple, I think it's a decent fit. Uh, maybe not the best, doesn't do as good of a job at isolating motion as Mary Foam does. All right, as far as the Zinus is concerned, I think it's a good match for back sleepers. I also think it's a very good match for side sleepers. I think it's a bad match for stomach sleepers. You probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. Um, I think it can be a good match for heavier sleepers, depending on your sleeping position, so potentially a good match there. It can be very good for couples as well. It does a very good job at isolating motion overall. All right, as far as the Lucid is concerned, I think it's be a very good match for back sleepers, a very good match for side sleepers as well. I think if you're a stomach sleeper, you probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. I think it can be a good match for heavier sleepers, kind of depending on your sleeping position. I also think it can be a good match for couples as well. It does have memory foam, but also pocketed coils, so it does a decent job at isolating motion. All right, lastly, as far as linen spa is concerned, I think it can be a good match for back sleepers if you get the 10-inch version. I reviewed the 8-inch version. If you get that 10-inch version, I think it'll be a good match for uh, back sleepers. I don't think it's the best match for side sleepers, probably not the best pressure relief overall. I do think it's a very good match for stomach sleepers, however, uh, probably not the best match for heavier sleepers and probably not the best match for couples overall. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good rundown of these five mattresses and you have a pretty good idea of which one you might wanna get. If you're interested in any one of these five mattresses, I encourage you to check out our individual reviews that we've done on our website and our YouTube channel. And if you're a bit confused, you still don't know which one you wanna get, just leave a comment below. I do read and reply back to every single comment on YouTube, so just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a full list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. And once again, let me know if you have any questions.